27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Another day, another round of damp weather. Scattered showers, thunderstorms rolling through, some storms generating wind gusts in excess of 40 miles per hour, but no severe thunderstorm warnings. That's what we like to hear. The unfortunate news is we're not done with the rainfall quite yet. You can see the secondary line of rain moving in. That's your cold front. That's going to swing across the region, ushering the last of that rainfall out and eventually giving way to some cooler, clearer conditions by tomorrow morning. Here's what we're dealing with. A couple of those pockets of heavier rainfall from Richland Center up towards Stevens Point, Moss in there as well. That will continue to roll eastward and eventually affect Dane County, but for the time being, Dane County staying dry on that Doppler radar. As far as rainfall totals go, just add it to our tab because we're looking at anywhere between another tenth of an inch to as much as another three quarters of an inch of rainfall in spots. Parts of Jefferson County seeing up near three quarters of an inch. Madison, an estimated four tenths of an inch or nearly four tenths of an inch of rain this evening alone. Temperatures taking quite the hit as well with that initial burst of rainfall. We went from 80 degrees to 65 very quickly and we've held steady in those mid 60s the last several hours. Lone Rock 64, Monroe 64 degrees as well. And you're noticing on that future track a lot of that rainfall by the time midnight rolls around. So within the next about two hours here, not only is the rainfall on its way out, but look at a lot of that cloud cover as well on its way out. And again, that's all thanks to that cold front pushing through, allowing cooler, drier air to settle back into southern Wisconsin, setting the stage for what will be a crystal clear start to your Thursday. The unfortunate news, the crystal clear conditions aren't expected to last all that long. Clear skies tomorrow morning. Temperatures those upper 50s and low 60s between 6 o'clock in the morning and 8 a.m. But watch what happens as early as 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, noon. We're seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. This is about as warm as we get because we see that cloud cover start to settle right back into the region. Kind of levels temperatures off. We reach as high as about 68 degrees in Madison come tomorrow afternoon. Under mostly cloudy skies, we may even see a few light sprinkles. I'm not anticipating any significant chances of rain. Again, a couple areas of drizzle. If you want to head out to the Mallards tomorrow evening, you'll probably have a much better time doing it. It rained pretty much all game long this evening. They did take home to W this evening, however. First pitch temperature 64 degrees under mostly cloudy skies by the end of that game right around 61 degrees tomorrow evening on Friday. We are looking beautiful 73 sunny but breezy wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour tomorrow 25 mile per hour winds on Friday Saturday. We're still a little bit breezy a high temperature that day of 70 degrees, but we could see chances of isolated showers come Saturday. Nothing necessarily significant and by the afternoon we are seeing plenty of sunshine. That is the good news. So the majority of our Saturday beautiful the same could be said for our Sunday high temperatures both days this weekend in the low 70s. Is it weird that I'm kind of looking forward to 60s tomorrow? No, I don't okay, think so. The, yeah. prob the, the problem is that we're going to be 60s, 68 degrees are yeah. high temperature. But wind gusts up near 30 miles per okay, hour. So may have you reaching for a bit of a jacket. Can I retract my last statement? No. It's going to be a bad <laughs> hair day, Amber. Ah! <laughs> Oof, you right. should have added that to your forecast, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, Cam.